Why are we doing this? Well, this is our 33rd year. It started out of the uh, protest of the ceasing of the Barca Vegas race back in the 60s and 70s. A bunch of guys that were dual sporters got together and said, hey, let's do a dual sport ride, which you could still do legally by tying the off-road areas together with a little bit of street here and there. About 80, 90% is in the dirt, and then a small portion is paved roads and asphalt. Ain't none of us gonna make it. Everybody's <laughs> Hey guys, I'll be with Bike Curious. And uh, I'm Spurgeon, you might know me from such websites as Revzilla.com. <laughs> I actually met Abi a, a few months ago at the Yamaha SCR 950 launch, and he was talking about doing Barstow Vegas, and I've always wanted to do it, and we decided to end up doing it on a... Ural. A Ural. A Ural Gear Up Sahara to be specific. Uh, I gotta be honest, we just thought it would be funny. We didn't think Ural would actually say yes, but they did, so kudos to them. And now we actually have to man up and uh, and be more than just talk. 500 miles over the next two days on a Ural. So let's see what trouble we can get into. All right, so if you could basically get that edge, and you're gonna go horizontal with the tape. No pressure, but this is like the most important part of the entire day. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am normally the most optimistic person that you would wanna have with you on one of these rides, because I'm just like Mr. Positivity and sunshine out your ass. Um, I will say that I would like to be on the road about an hour and a half ago. Yeah, we got it. Nice monkey work. Oh, shit. Oh. That was the kidneys. Oh, 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 oh. All good, all good. All good. All right. All right. Ready? You ready? Two, three, three, go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. What was that noise, okay? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. That giant rock! <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh, something's smoking. So far, so good. I mean, I guess you could, like, no. no. So far, okay. So far, okay. I'll give you <laughs> so far, okay. I mean, we're having fun. Yeah, we're still here. I just, uh, I'm getting a kind of a sickening feeling we're probably going to have to call a tow truck to come and bail us out. We haven't made it to lunch yet on the first day, and uh, I'm pretty sure we fried the clutch on the Ural. Uh, we have been taking the easy route, and the easy route, while it might be easy on a smaller bike, on a 750 pound sidecar rig has been proving to be a bit difficult. Abby actually ran a guy over. That might have happened, yes. Oh no, a hill! The Euro's worst enemy! Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Does the engine sound different to you? Push it up a little, just enough to uh, get it out of there. All right, time to push. Yeah, buddy. I was born with a criminal gene. God, this bike just makes me feel old. It's 210, yeah. which means we got about three hours of daylight left before it's completely black and cold. I think we're gonna hit a point where we're gonna have to hop on the highway.
why. I really don't want to do this today. I would much rather be in bed, no, drinking coffee, and watching the news. I feel like a proper sidecar racer now. You know, it's funny, at like 4.45 this morning, Yeah, I didn't want to get out of bed, it was so cold. And it's like you start to question why you do this shit, then you get right. out of here. Man, this is, this is all worth it. A little bit of a bump. It's a hell of a forearm workout. Nathan, we're gonna need you. This engine is starting to smell like it did yesterday when it was burning. So damn pretty. I mean, this is kind of cool because we didn't do this last year. This is all new to me. We're, uh, we're heading out for Baker and uh, we're heading towards the lunch spot. There's one hard section that we may actually be able to do, but uh, Nathan's talking to some of the organizers just to get a better idea of what to expect. Because really, if there's any hills, we're, we're just screwed and we're gonna have to turn around. That's gonna waste a lot of time. There's really only one way to find out, and that's just to go do it. Oh yeah, the exhaust is coming loose again. I can tell. The sit sounds different. Guess what? All the fuses have been knocked out. None of the lights work. Are you serious? Yeah. You the one that was asking me the why I'm called the fixer? Yeah, I fixed it. So the good news is, that was actually probably the, the best section on the Ural. We eventually got to the deep sand and a lot of fire road stuff where it was a lot of fun. We even passed some people. Is gambling legal yet? No, not yet. Damn it. So close. How about prostitution? Is prostitution legal yet? Not yet. What state are we in? Damn it. <laughs> Slight pain, but I'm actually having a blast right now. It's just different. How often do you get to do this? Oh, that's, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, yes, would this have been a much easier experience on a KTM 350XC? Absolutely. But that's not, I mean, that's not what this whole thing was supposed to be about. Oh, we're doing it, you know? Yeah, we're getting beat to shit. I mean, I don't think either of us thought that this was going to be a comfortable experience. No. I and mean, it's certainly not a comfortable <laughs> experience. Everybody's like, yeah. oh, what's it like in the sidecar? It's fucking miserable. It's, just, yeah. it's a sidecar with a suspension on it. It's got about three inches of travel. Brakes that are like eh. An engine that's like eh. Suspension that's like uh uh. And yet it's got style out the ass. Rounding out this trip, probably about 40 miles from Vegas. And uh, while we had to cut some of the sections out, I think the Ural's done okay. <laughs> In fairness, it's handled better than I thought it would. So we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, and today we have conquered the second half of Barstow to Vegas. We had to, we had to bypass some stuff. There was some stuff that we couldn't do. We got towed by a Jeep for a while, and in the end, I mean, it succeeded. We, we lost the exhaust, but for the most part, like, we made it here. We set out to do this, and we wanted to do it on a bike that wasn't really appropriate. We picked the Ural because, you know, it was something that was going to be different. We were going to be able to do it together, and it wouldn't have been the same story if we were on a bunch of WR250s. It would have been too easy, so. Next year, can we do it on a bunch of WR? I don't care what we do it on next year, but we're not doing it on a Ural again next year. 